Hi, and welcome back to this channel. I know I haven't uploaded videos in a while, but here I am again. I have been working on personal stuff, you know, and recently I coded a Discord bot and I learned a lot. So probably I'm going to make a new course on to how to code the Discord bot with TypeScript. Um, yeah, so I coded it with TypeScript and I encountered the problem that uh, at first it seems very easy to solve, but uh, I was like, how do I solve this? And then I decided to make a video to show you how to solve this problem. So the problem is related to filtering arrays that can be of different types. I mean, arrays that can have elements of different types to be more precise. So without further ado, let's uh, state the problem, okay? And then let's see how we can solve this problem. So suppose we have, a, I don't know, a doc type, so type doc, and this is going to have a name, which is going to be string, and it's going to have, um, I don't know, breathe, which is going to be string. And um, let's add this important property. And this property is going to be called is vertebrate. And we're going to set this to a Boolean value. So obviously dogs are vertebrates. So we are going to create an array and the elements are going to be dogs. And we're going to say that is vertebrate property to be true. Okay. Now let's create another type, which is going to be a spider. Um, don't ask me why spider. I just think of it right now. And the spider is going to have a color, which is going to have, which is going to be string. And this property is vertebrate, which is going to be a Boolean. So when we create our, our array uh, and we create a spider object, this vertebrate property is going to be false. So let's create this array, which is going to be an array of either docs or spiders. So in TypeScript, we do this by saying doc or spider and empty brackets. So this is telling me that animals is going to be an array of dogs or spiders. Okay, so let's create our array. The name of the dog is going to be why not test. Uh, breed is going to be why not Shiba Inu. And is vertebrate is going to be true. And then we're going to say that the spider is going to have a color of black. And is vertebrate is obviously going to be false. Okay, so now we have our very strange uh, animals array consisting of dogs and spiders. And what we are going to do now is only get the dogs out of this array. So we declare this dogs array, which um, we're going to get by filtering the animals array. So we're going to say animals filter, we're going to get the animal, and here we're going to get uh, this is vertebrate property. So when is vertebrate is true, we're going to get that element. And when is vertebrate is false, obviously, uh, we're going to discard that, that element. Okay, so um, now it, this is the problem. If I try to, for example, get the first element of this dots array and then try to access the name property, then I'm not going to be able to do that. And let's see the error message. It says property name does not exist on type dog or spider. Uh, property name does not exist on type spider. Okay, so it's basically not allowing me to access the property because probably this is a spider and a spider doesn't have a name property. Okay, and if we hover over these dogs array, it's saying that um, it's an array of dogs or spiders. But we know that if the is vertebrate property is true, then it's a dog and not a spider. So how do we tell TypeScript that dogs is only an array of dogs? So that's pretty simple. We just go here, add a parenthesis, and then say animal is dog. And that's it. We solve the problem. Now, if we hover over this dots variable, it's telling me that it's an array of dots. Okay, and now the TypeScript error went away and um, we're not going to have any problems. If we run this, we're going to see that the name of the dog is test. 
Okay, cool. So that's everything. That's the problem I was stumbling uh, while I was coding these Discord bots. Um, it was obviously not about dogs and spider, uh, but it was something like this. So let me simplify this example a little bit. Um, I was having, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's say that the name is an optional property, so it can be undefined or it can be a string. Let's say that we have our array of dogs, and this is only going to be something like this. An array of dogs. Let's create another dog here. Let's get rid of this. Let's copy. Let's paste it. But this time I'm going to get rid of the name property and this is going to be, I don't know, a bulldog or something like that. Okay. So now this is going to be the dogs with name. Okay. And this is going to be dogs filter. Let's say dog. Let's get rid of this for the moment. And dog dot um, dog dot name. And obviously this needs to return a boolean, so we cast it to boolean. So now if I say dogs with name uh, of zero dot name, so you can see that this thing is still a string or undefined, but we are clearly here filtering only those dogs that have a name property. So in order to fix this uh, little problem here, uh, we're going to say dog is required uh, doc. So required is basically a utility from TypeScript that tells me, hey, make everything, every property in this uh, type to be uh, not optional, so to be required. And if I go here and try to get the name, now you're going to see that the name is only string. It cannot be undefined. So yeah, that's the problem I was um, having with uh, my Discord bot. Obviously, it wasn't still about dogs, but that's the, the, the problem, basically. So that's it. I hope you like this video, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.